Hello, and welcome back to Asteroids. Today, we are going to focus on playing The Void, who has, instead of a baseball bat, a Chatcher's Mitt. It took me a little while to realize that's what it was. I am slightly embarrassed and have not realized earlier. Last time we, uh, we did manage to get to the second zone, which is kind of like an icy zone. But that's as far as we've gotten so far. So let's see if we can get some actual real progress under our belt here. Especially because this is probably my favorite character so far. I'm told that there's more characters. Also, this character also, despite being claiming to be the harder character, feels stronger than the, the starting character. Releases the ring of fire that burns enemies for three seconds. Uh, I know what the other two are, so I'm gonna go ahead and take that. The middle one was a wall of stone and the far right one was the little boy thing that we've had before. Grab that guy. Grab his bullet before he leaves. Grab that guy. Very nice. I love the execution of this character. Ooh, melee attack damage. Don't even have to look at the others. I already know that I want that. And we can save this charge for the next time. Very nice. One thing we learned with the other characters is that we can pick those up, those big ones up, before they explode into smaller ones. Which is good news because that means that, um... With this character, we can grab them very early and be way safer, to be honest. Uh, apparently I can't even melee when I'm out, out of power on this character. Good to know. Save all those for next time, and we'll head to the shop over here. Let's see. More melee attack damage. Parts per room. This is 20%. How much is this? 10 I'm going to take another a rat rank of that, and that's all we can afford for now. Come on. Yeah, give it to me. And give me your soul. Go ahead and absorb him. Very nice, very nice. And mini boss. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, apply some fire damage to him right away. That was a lot of damage right at the end there. Speed him up while he's doing this. Don't even let him finish. And we have a cannon. So we can finish the cannon and then I went to the wrong room. I wanted to go to the cannon. Ooh, you're new. So we'll take this and then talk to you. This place doesn't serve food and I'm starving here. Give me a heart and I'll give you 60 coins. Sure. Feeding time. Uh, creepy. I, I like your vibe, dude, to be honest. You look a little worse for wear. I know what, know just what you need. You look after yourself. 
Oh, that was a bit of a synergy between these things. I'm gonna do that again. Are you gonna give, give me 60 coins again? He is not giving me 60 coins, by the way. Oh no, they fell down on the ground. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm fine with that. <laughs> Let's stop now. Grants four times melee damage. Increase bullet accuracy. Two times recharge. Create stream ripples on dash and melee attacks. Well, I am very drunk now. was 100% my fault. We're gonna run it back with the boy. Game's not easy. Game's really not easy. Okay. Let's head down the middle. Looks like there's a chest. Just realized it doesn't really matter. We could have uh, accessed that chest from any direction. Just keep that guy up. Same here. Beat him up. I think we actually get less stars for beating them up like that. Teleports of the cursor, instantly applying lightning to nearby enemies in position. Uh, what's this far right one? Removes all bullets in a giant AoE instantly. Heck yeah! That's just kind of like a panic button. Looks like the combo is based off of number of enemy kills back to back. So sometimes that's going to be pretty hard to pull off. I do like that whenever you break the crates, the pieces of them just float off into space. Probably can't afford anything here. Minus five item costs in shops. So we would have to buy seven items for this to pay back. And even then, whenever it did pay back, it would only pay back five coins. Nah, not worth it. Nice, very nice. Clean room. Another shop, but this time we have money. 10% crit chance. Melee knocks back enemies and knock them off the map. Oh man, I wish I had the money for that. Longer thin melee, melee attack. I also wish I had the money for that. We'll take the crit chance just because it's some progress towards being stronger. We don't have any money, but we can offer. We can't even offer anything to that guy because... The guy won't let us talk to anyone until we bought something. Wow. The the window for a combo is actually really short. Which is fine. Just good to know. Crit chance increased by three thirty percent for five seconds after picking up money. More recharge? I've been struggling with recharge on this character, so I'm going to take the recharge. Don't forget that we have an F panic button in order to get rid of all the projectiles on the screen. I love that that counted as a three-time combo because I technically killed the mage by absorption. We 
go. Phase one complete. Back up a bit. He's about to do this. Apparently that's the first time we've killed him without taking damage. We just got an achievement for that. Let's see. We do have some money, and we'll have even more money by the time we get there, so we can head to another shop real quick. I'm trying to get used to doing shorter ones of these. Way better at killing those guys with this character. Shop. Less affected by ice element effects and move faster outside of slowdown. That'll be pretty good for the next floor. Homing bullets now apply lightning. Can't even use that. We'll go ahead and take that. Uh, yep. I don't think we have a choice. We just go this way. I took some very unnecessary damage there. I was actually fine. I just moved into it. God, I love the absorption kills. So cool. I can't get over that one. Oh, I just stood there for that. Didn't realize he was going to be doing that at the last second there, which I should have. I've fought those guys before. Okay. We don't really need the cannon. I don't think it's going to offer us much. We can check. Oh, that series of combos was beautiful. Oh, just kill him. <laughs> Can we go anywhere important with this? Uh, yeah. We can go straight back to the, uh, elite here. I don't think we killed this elite. We did kill this elite. Yeah, that's what I thought. We had to have gone farther back in order to be able to get much use out of this. The cannon is really cool, though. I've never seen another roguelike offer the ability to go backwards on the map. Increases the attitude range of the void hand? I mean... I just had to check the rest of the items just to make sure, but like, dang, that's really good. Move a little faster outside of slowdown. Um, uh, yeah, I'm fine with that too. Really, even with the extra execute range, I still can't execute those guys after one melee attack. Maybe they mean range as in, like, not the range per se, but, like, the range of HP. 
I thought they meant... I think... I thought that make, they meant ranges and, like, literal... Like, the amount of HP that they can have before I can execute them. I don't think that's actually the case. Pop that man's bubble. A little bit more HP. Oh, man. Thank, thank you so much, game. Thank you so much. It's like you knew what I needed. Those probably don't have money in it. Yep. It's only the big ones. It's like... Hey, last room. Nope, this is the boss fight. I was about to say last room before the boss, but... Neptune wants to fight. Punch him a couple times real quick. We really have to fight this guy way closer here. Just gonna get rid of everything real quick. Again, real quick. There we go. Oh, hey, Planet Buster, beat a planet without taking damage. Heck yeah. Become invulnerable when emptying the ability meter. Recharges twice as fast. Steal one item from a shop per run. Deal 25% damage to big enemies, mini bosses, bosses when they spawn. I actually kind of like that. Reduces all of their HP by 25%, essentially. Hey. Second area, second time. We should be a little bit more resistant to the ice this time because we have that armor. Which will help maybe some. Let's head for the item over here because there's also a shot. I wonder if I'm going to get any sort of indication of whenever the solar winds are coming in. Roll cooldown decreased. Go faster outside of slowdown. Creates a temporary pet around you that attracts enemies. We'll take the, um, that one right there. Longer thinner melee attack is fantastic. Can't afford that. Hungry critter, wannabe bullets. Can't afford any of the rest of these. We'll re-roll once just to see if he gives us a cheaper item. More recharge. Thank you. Still your ball. Still you. Still your heart. Don't really need the cannon here. We'll probably just leave it, to be honest. The only thing we could really do is jump over to the other path there. Oh, I see what these do. Okay. Good here, I think. Waiting for the uh, thing to end here. Uh, 
worry that more ice is coming. Kill him with the suck. The big suck. Um, we'll go for the elite shirt. Uh, excuse me? Apparently I just shot a 10 combo kill. New mini boss. Don't forget that we have a F that we can press in order to get rid of bullets. Saying it out loud, so maybe I don't forget. Like there. There would have been a good time to use it. some of his particles up. Big hit. Big hit. Stage two, maybe? Yeah, stage two. Ah, oh, okay. Dang. I think I'm going to go ahead and call it here because we're probably not going to be able to get another run in. But uh, that was the furthest we've gotten so far. This has been Asterox. I've been uh, Rima, and I hope you guys are enjoying. If you guys are, feel free to leave a like, comment, and or subscribe. It just makes me feel good. That's all, really. And I hope you have a good day. Goodbye.